I'm Jesus, and this video is going to look at why they are seem determined not to give the community something that they really want and would happily pay quite a bit of money for, and sometimes seem to actively serve up shit instead. Now, the thing that I'm talking about here are the tournament stickers they release every time they hold a major, and to start things off, I'm going to run a thought experiment. We're going to assume that for IEM Katowice 2019, Valve decides to base their tournament stickers on the famous Katowice 2014 designs. Now, for anyone who's unfamiliar with what these are, these are stickers that Valve released for EMS1 Katowice 2014, in a capsule that sold at 25 cents a pop when it was discounted, and they proved so popular and so underinvested in that today, a rare Kato 14 Holo will sell for several thousand dollars, and we're going to assume that these new stickers look very similar. So, you know, big logos, no backgrounds, fancy holo effects, you know, we get the, the Phase and the Cloud9 stickers in the old Ibo Power and Titan styles, the sort of thing that people have really been clamoring for. And let's just picture what would happen, because we know for one that people really like these designs, they'd be willing to spend quite a lot of money on them, and we could expect that the sales during the Mage would be particularly high, you know, right from the word go, people would be buying lots of these things to immediately start doing crafts. Once they go on sale, investors are going to go nuts buying them, probably resulting in the highest number of sticker sales at a major ever. And in turn, that would, for one, mean a whole bunch of money for Valve, but it would also mean quite a bit of money for the teams playing in the major as well, particularly if there's some nice hollows, since that way the money will get spread around amongst a bunch of teams due to people buying the capsules. So. It really looks like everyone is a massive winner. The community's happy, Valve makes money, the teams make money. It really seems like the winning option, at least at face value anyway. Now, I have no idea what the IEM Katowice 2019 stickers are going to look like. And as far as I'm concerned, this isn't really even the main question that this hypothetical brings up. Because if making a bunch of new tournament stickers that look just like the Kato 2014 stickers is a guaranteed way to make some really good money, why the fuck hasn't it happened already? I mean, we've been given 11 majors worth of stickers in the meantime, yet some of them nice, some of them garbage, but nothing even remotely like the Cato 2014 designs, and if there's such a good monetary incentive to make them, well, it's kind of weird that nobody has, and what I want to do in this video is to try and figure out why. Now, it is possible, at least in theory, that this whole thing could be explained by negligence. Maybe Valve and the various tournament organizers that run majors haven't noticed how popular the Kato 14 stickers are. Valve might just be looking at the data from the in-game sales back when Kato 14 took place, in which case the stickers probably didn't make that much money and they might have written them off as a popular design and the tournament organizers might be unaware of the aftermarket for these stickers. So, it could be incompetence, but as it happens, I don't think it is. I mean, first of all, Valve run the Steam community market, so they're probably going to notice the Kato stickers selling for exorbitant amounts on their platform. And as for the tournament organizers, well, they're going to be filled with people who play the game and own skins, and are therefore going to be aware of how much these Kato stickers are worth. Case in point, James Bardolph, who works for Face It, and literally has 16 guns with Kato 14 stickers on them in his inventory. I think he could probably tell you what the most popular tournament stickers are. And that's before you factor in people constantly asking Valve for more stickers that look like the Kato 14 ones, so I don't think it's particularly likely that this is an accident. But if it's not an accident, well, somebody must be actively choosing not to do this, and presumably they're going to have some sort of reason not to do it, because if there is a monetary incentive, well, you'd want an actual justification to turn it down. So the question essentially becomes, whose idea is this? and why. Now, for a long time, there was some confusion about who exactly called the shots when it came to stickers. It wasn't clear whether Valve or the tournament organizer were really doing it, but this has actually recently been cleared up, and there's two primary sources that reveal exactly what's going on. First of all, there's this tweet from an artist called Kaz, which shows a bunch of caricatures of various pro players and casters, and it reads as follows, quote, Face it approached me to pitch these CSGO major caricature stickers to Valve instead of the signature ones. It's not happening, but I wanted to share the concept art. Would have been fun to draw all the pros again. 
And aside from revealing that, holy shit, Face It could have had some awesome stickers, what this sort of indicates is that Face It makes a pitch to Valve, and Valve ultimately decides what goes through. And this was more or less confirmed by some comments that a Face It employee made on Reddit. Basically, this thread had some fan made designs for some IEM Cato Vista 2019 stickers in the Cato 14 style, and a Face It employee actually chimed in to say that Face It actually pitched. Cato 14 style stickers to Valve for the face at London Major and that Valve turned down the proposal and then clarified that Valve are the ones that decide what stickers make it into the game. So this basically tells us right here that Valve are the ones who are stopping these stickers. We might not know for certain whether other tournament organisers have pitched similar stickers to Valve, I'd guess they have but we don't know for sure, but it is pretty clear that the buck stops with Valve. But why are Valve doing this? Why are they turning down the opportunity to make some money? Isn't it well known that CSGO is just Valve's little pay pig, which they treat like Borat treats his women? So what's going on here? Well, there is actually an explanation, and more than that, it's mutually compatible with the idea that Valve are just trying to make money, and also the idea that Valve are trying to do right by the community. You can decide for yourself which one it is. I'm just going to explain it, but basically. At the start of the video, I said that if Valve made some more tournament stickers that looked like Cato 14 stickers, everyone would win, and it was kind of a lie. So to explain what I mean, let's quickly have a look at CS Money. Now what you might notice is that there's item after item after item valued at thousands of dollars because they've got Cato 14 hollows on them, and sure, they're all deliberately overvalued well past what CS Money actually thinks they're worth by some very optimistic traders, but it's pretty obvious that they command quite a premium, and this is kind of where the problems start. Because one of the things, for example, that's made the Ivo Power Hollow so valuable is that there's nothing else in the game that looks like it. Now, if Valve was to bring out a phase sticker in exactly the same style, well, suddenly that uniqueness would be broken, and this is the real problem with copying the Cato 14 designs. Because if they lose this uniqueness, if you're all of a sudden able to make guns that look extremely similar for a fraction of the cost of modern teams to boot, well, all these old Cato 14 crafts are going to plummet in value. They won't be outright worthless, but they'll be worth a hell of a lot less. And as a result, anybody who's overpaid for a gun with some Cato 14 stickers on them is going to see quite a bit of its value disappear. And the people affected by this won't all be Chinese collectors or vice presidents of Face It. No, there's a lot of standard players out there who've forked out some money for a Cato skin who'd get wrecked by this. So not just big expensive collectors, also some standard but dedicated players. Now, don't get me wrong, that in itself isn't actually an argument for not releasing new stickers that look like the Cato 14 ones. People lose money all the time, it's part of life. I mean, your car loses money from the moment you buy it, you don't get pity points for that. But there is a couple of reasons why Valve probably doesn't want to hurt these people. Firstly, the sort of people that would fork out several hundred dollars just to get an Iberpower Hollow on their weapon represent the most hardcore and dedicated part of the game's fan base, the most vocal when they're unhappy about something, the most willing to spend money on items, whether it's unboxing stuff or just buying skins straight off the market. It, either way, they're the sort of people that make a disproportionate contribution to the money Valve makes from the game. And if Valve stung them this way, well, aside from the public backlash over it, this crowd would probably be a lot more reluctant to invest money into skins, and this would have a flow on effect to the rest of the economy, because these people tend to be big contributors, and even if it's not just directly unboxing stuff, they'll buy things off other people, expensive things, who then go and use that money to buy something off somebody else, and so on and so forth. And this input stimulates the economy as a whole, and keep in mind, Valve want people buying and selling, because they make money on every single transaction on the Steam community market from Steam Tax. So they want people to feel confident enough to invest money in skins. In fact, that's really defined their approach to the market in some respects. It's true they've done things that have hurt people who've held skins before, but it generally hasn't been to make a quick buck, because the whole point of skins isn't to quickly make them some money while the game is trending, it's to build an economy. And don't take it from me, take it from the developer who designed skins. In a multiplayer game, a big part of having a good experience is provided by other players. Our customers generate a huge amount of value for each other just by participating in the game. We want to encourage them to keep doing that. 
In Valve products like Dota 2 and Team Fortress 2, we found that a great way to help meet all of these goals at once is to add an economy to the game. Now, if you look at every single type of tournament stick of Valve has released, you'll notice that each one is distinct. They've never done some lazy copy and paste of a past design. And I think the reason for this ultimately lies with this whole thing about economies creating value for players. If two majors had very similar looking stickers, it would crash the value of the previous major stickers. It would ruin their price. And I think that really goes against what Valve wants for the in-game economy. They want their economy to hold value. And that's probably why we're never going to see any new stickers that look like the Kato 14 stickers again. Now, to be clear, whether you think this is a good reason or not is up to you. This is just what I personally think Valve's justification is. And you can decide for yourself whether you think it's a good justification for not releasing any more stickers that look like the Kato 14 ones or not. And with that, I'll bring the video to an end. If you found it interesting, please like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Azus. Thanks for watching. See ya.